Community transmission is the driving factor for changes in Butler County. As case numbers rise there, more people are heading into quarantine, and it's pushing one school district to remote learning now. Nicole Ford is live in Butler County with that push from county leaders. Nicole. Kim, Butler County Commissioners are urging people to step up and follow the mitigation efforts. We told you yesterday that this spike in community transmission has a direct impact on the schools. Today, Butler Area Schools announced they'll be going full remote next week. Empty classrooms are coming back on Monday. The remote learning does not work for all students. It's a real challenge for parents, particularly young ones and special needs children. Uh, so this is the it's rather heartbreaking in a lot of ways. Butler Superintendent Brian White says after nearly 11 weeks of in person classes, the district will be going full remote. The bulk of the issues that we're seeing when we do our contact tracing through the school are incidents at private parties, private gatherings. It's not a restaurant, it's not an establishment, it's personal choices. White says those events are leading to more families impacted, creating staffing issues. Those staffing problems not just in the schools. We work too hard uh, to keep our county open and to get our businesses open and operating to see them have to close down, not because of any government mandate, but because they don't have actual staff to run the businesses. On Thursday, Butler County Commissioners put out a call to action to the community to mask up and avoid large gatherings. Leslie O'Shea says people are reaching a fatigue and following the rules and it's too soon to back off. We want to support the schools. We want every, and I think our community does as well. We want to support our hospital and our health system and, and also the nursing homes that we've seen, you know, incredible outbreaks in our nursing homes right now. National Guard is in two of them that I am aware of trying to help with staffing. Across the county, other school districts are looking to make similar moves as the commissioners look to unite everyone with a common goal. This is hard. This is hard stuff. It's the holidays. We want to be together. We want to, you know, and, and we just, we can do those things if we do them sensibly. As the number of cases tick up, as do the number of people being hospitalized. Right now, Butler Memorial Hospital reports they have 25 COVID-19 patients, five of which are being treated in the ICU. Commissioners say staffing challenges are impacting them there as well. Reporting live in Butler tonight, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.